Hi everyone, it's Catherine or Mrs. Cronall and I'm here today with Lickered and Lacquered. Um, I am going to be drinking today a, a lovely Prosecco, which uh, one of my managers in work gave me for the new year. It's a little one. It has a little plastic top, which I already opened and it went everywhere. So I'm going to pour this in and tonight I am <laughs> celebrating the fact that I've officially ended my no buy. <gasps> Isn't that one of the best pleasing sounds in the world? The sound of bubbles. So um, yeah, so this is a Prosecco. I'll put the label there in case you're interested. Let me just see what it tastes like. So uh, Slauncha and... Oh, it's delicious. Really crisp, but still quite fruity. So yeah, I'm going to go through some of the stuff that I bought in the sales because I just had a complete breakout this week. Um, and I bought a lot of polish because um, I just decided, meh, I can't give up sugar and like give up buying nail polish. It's very difficult. So um I lost another three pounds though, so that's a good, that's an achievement. That's nine pounds since in the last four weeks. So that's really good. So my um, nails are covered in all bits and bobs color wise. This is my La La Land inspired nail art of the month, which will be going up tomorrow on Instagram. Better pictures in a better light than this. I use the following three polishes for the blue wave on my finger, on my accent nail. Want to call it that there i used uh, the eyes have it from um the opi uh, alice through the looking glass collection really nice blue uh, on the base is um virgin snow wait where is it there it is virgin snow come on there you go virgin snow and it's a really pretty uh, light kind of lavender color and then I used um, Bippity Boppity Blue from Starly which is like this beautiful color which really inspired me because there's a dress that Emma Stone wears in the movie and it's this really bright yellow and then like City of Stars I was thinking this topper is perfect also there's a great scene where Ryan Gosling is singing down by the sea so that's why I decided to do a little blue wave so yeah that is my um La La Land, City of Stars inspired nail polish. All right, so we have a lot of polish to get through. Here we go. Um, nine of these are all from H&M. So we're going to start with these H&M um, box sets, which were buy one, get one free. So I got four of them, but I'm going to show you three of them because I'm keeping one as a present. And one is going to go to someone else. Um, so this was, these are originally... Not th they're pricey enough, like they're twenty four ninety, so they're twelve francs. But so they were six francs each, I guess. So um, with the buy one get one free thing, so um, yeah, so that's like two francs a bottle, which is pretty good. I'm really happy with them. Um, I've done one coat of everything. Some of them I might go back and do a second coat just to see what they're like. Um, but I've done one coat of everything, and I'll give you my reasoning as we go through. I wanted to show you how good the creams were from H and M. Okay, so we're starting with this yellow one here, and this is one coat look how beautiful that is like if you were really good with your application that would be perfect so this is called sunny side up I'll put the these are hard to read I will put the the title up here on the screen this is sunny side up and it's just this beautiful bright yellow color it's almost like the yellow in my um glitter topper but not as quite as bright there's kind of a, a, a hint of um, sunflower off this, I think. Um, the next one beside that is a coral color. And this one is called, where's the name? The names are kind of hard to reach sometimes. This is called Beach Bunny. You guys aren't going to see that, but I can put it up on screen. And it's just this beautiful coral. Again, one coat. I mean, they're not super, super glossy, but um, well, it's not as glossy as the yellow, but still really, really good. And beside that, we have a kind of a nudie pink color. And this is called Sedona. And it's got like, a, it's a pink with a, a drop of brown in it, I guess. And it's just this beautiful kind of lip color. That's like a nudie lip color to polish. Really gorgeous for work or something like that. That is really, ha I'm really happy with that. Okay, so that was from the... Uh, 
global fusion nail color trio and it's called the sun warmed shades okay so that's that box there there's two boxes that look the same but the names are on the back so you if you if you if you if you're lucky enough to live near a h&m that does this or if you um sorry there we go if you um pick them up online or something then yeah so that's the first uh trio that i picked up I'm going to take another drop of this Prosecco. It's delicious. Mm. So, the next set I picked up, I have to move some stuff here, is the um, Modern Romance Nail Colour Trio. And um, this has three kind of pinky colours in it. So the first one is right here, and it's kind of a... Um, it is a very nude color as well. Um, very kind of um, like a, there's a touch of brown off it. This is the most translucent. You can see my finger pretty easily through that. But um, I think one or two coats, maybe maybe three will will um, get okay. And this is um, called sepia. And it's really, really pretty. Um, very, very nice. That will look very good on my skin tone, I think, if I just want a nude day. Then uh, next to that is this Raspberry Taffy. I may already have this. So um, if I do, I think I'll be giving this to my mom because this is the kind of colours that she likes to wear. So, um, mom, if I already have this, you'll be getting it. Um, so, yeah, it's a beautiful kind of um, uh, rose pink colour. Very, very pretty. I really like that one too. And beside that, it's a deeper car, kind of a brighter pink. There's a touch of coral in there, but I think it's it's mainly a bright pink. And this is called uh, Cinnabar Gem. Cinnabar Gem, very, very pretty. So that's the Modern Romance Nail Color Trio. And then, and then another color fusion collection, but this time it's the Vivid Cool Shades. And um, this, is the collection here and we have this gorgeous kind of periwinkle blue I guess that's periwinkle yeah it's called sky high and it's just a per beautiful perfect cream formula formulas are just amazing on this the only one that um I'm, again I'm not sure if I already picked this up this is um, make a splash this is the only one that um you need like more than one coat for sure well, apart from that nudie one that I was showing you, but just to give you an indication of what it would be like if you added another coat, here you go. So that's make a splash. And look at these lovely flat brushes. They're so easy to work with. I really, really love this H&M brand of polish. They're just so good. Um, I've tried a couple other products from the makeup range and I wasn't that impressed, but the nail polish never fails to impress me and that was make a splash the green one and this kind of um red kind of deep wine color is called governess and again just a beautiful formula probably need a second coat on that just to brighten it up but really really pretty so that is all nine of the colors that i got in the trio sets very very happy with them two quid a pop you can't really go wrong now can you all right now beside that are a couple of polishes that i picked up i went to stuttgart for the day yesterday i had to get a few bits and pieces for the house so i wandered into tk maxx just to see what i could find and of course i found some polish so i saw this on claire's channel um a while back this is called refreshment okay and it's a beautiful light mint green and that's one coat and i don't know if this is a one coater but that looks pretty opaque to me beautiful formula and this was 3.99 as you can see there so um yeah really really happy so that's china glaze refreshment okay and next to that is this one which i saw in like their bargain bargain christmas bin kind of thing and i haven't got any nail or uh, sesh feet um and nail lacquers any of the colors so this was the grand sum of 70 cent as you can see there and this is called perfectly poised and it's a really beautiful mustard yellow 
um, very very nice so you can see there the difference in the brightness between the H&M so it's a very dulled out um, mustard color very very nice and beside that is um, this gorgeous green from Leighton Denny this is one that I'm also going to um, open up and just add another layer of sorry just push the camera so I'll give you the name and all that now in a second uh, I just want to see what it looks like on a second coat. So I thought this would be really, really nice for St. Patrick's Day. There's a blue and red, uh, blue and green shimmer in it. Now green is the color of St. Patrick's Day, but actually the official color was blue. So St. Patrick actually, his, we have St. Patrick's blue, which is what our guards were, our guardy, our police force. So um, I thought this would be a really nice one for St. Patrick's Day. You can just see that delicate blue in there as well um or else it's a, like a very deep it looks it looks blue it could be a deep jade color but yeah so this is called emerald city and um that's exactly what it looks like the emerald city from um wizard of oz i'd say you need another coat there but um or maybe just top it over green anyway Leighton denny is about 12 pounds 50 full price and this was 4.99 so yeah really happy with that gorgeous color, uh, gorgeous glittery green for St. Patrick's Day. Now the next shoe, this is one that I've wanted to get for a while and I'm also going to swatch these two um, for you guys. Mm -mm -mm. That Prosecco is delicious. Okay, now the first one, did I just put my finger, I think I just put my thumbprint in the H&M one. Okay, the first one was a bit of a letdown for a lot of people in the OPI Breakfast at Tiffany's holiday collection. This is called I Believe in Manicures and um, it's not quite a Tiffany blue that people were expecting. Um, it certainly doesn't look as Tiffany blue as so I have a picture perfect one ordered that looks like a Tiffany blue. Don't worry, I'll show you that massive order when it arrives. Um, this one doesn't have enough green in it, I think, for it to be Tiffany. People were also a bit disappointed in the formula. Now, it does go on pretty streaky, but it's dried out relatively streak free. Um, anyone that I've seen swatching this said it needed about three coats. I think Phoebe Moon maybe did it in three. Could have been two. I can't remember. But it's not the greatest of creams. When you come, oopsie, when you come from the H&M, um, when you come from the H&M creams and then you go to use this, it's not, there's definitely better creams out there. It doesn't even out on its own as well as it should. You have to kind of manipulate a little bit. But it, on the swatch wheel, it looks okay in, th in two, but sometimes creams can be tricky. Sometimes you need the third one. Anyway, sorry, that's my dishwasher. Anyway, that does look pretty good on two. And I'm happy to have it. It does, if I was to compare it now to the one that I used from the Alice Through the Looking Glass collection, you can see there's like a lot more... Um, this is a lot of a, a kind of a warmer pastel blue, I guess, a bit more of um, maybe a purple in it or something. It does have the green in it, I guess, this blue, but it doesn't look like the Tiffany boxes. There's a Tiffany in Zurich that I pass every day that has a security guard in the, in the window that would never let me in the door of it. But maybe I'll just go up and hold this to uh, his face and say, just checking, just checking. Uh, see what I see if it matches the sign I have feeling it won't but um anyway I'm very happy to have it the reason I got it is because I picked up this set um in TK Maxx it was 12.99 and as you know it's 20 quid for one OPI in um in Ireland and it's actually I checked the prices of OPI in not in Ireland in Switzerland and I checked the price of OPI when I was at um uh, TK Maxx and I noticed that they were 16 euros so yeah 12.99 is not too bad I think for two of them and the reason I bought it oh by the way you get this like little kind of um kind of little cosmetic bag with it the reason I bought it um was because I really wanted the black from the collection. Now, I don't know. Oh, no, it's not too bad. You can kind of see it here. There is a very, like, super delicate silver shimmer. You can just see it along the top of the, the bottle there. 
super delicate silver shimmer in this black and um, when I saw it on Phoebe Moon's channel a few months back I really really loved it and um, the Breakfast at Tiffany's collection I didn't see it here in Switzerland now I wouldn't have paid 20 quid for it anyway but um, I really really wanted the black and I got the red on offer and uh, the pink glitter when I was in London but the black I didn't see so this is what the black looks like and it really does give this leather like effect or um yeah like this kind of plastic I don't know it's really sophisticated black um I can see the shimmer just about on the nail but I don't think that's the point I think the point is you can just see it there yourself actually you can just see it at the, in the light that's two coats by the way I really really like it um this is called by the way um black dress not optional black dress not optional very very pretty black um so yeah very very nice um i will be going through these polishes again the breakfast at tiffany's collection when i'm doing my opi obviously my opi collection in full so i will do all four of the breakfast at tiffany's i'm i'm actually pleasantly surprised with that um i'm looking forward to trying it out uh, on my nails I think it's going to look really, really nice, actually. It would have looked really, really nice as the blue-white wave there. But, uh, yeah, so that's officially the end of my no-buy. I know the Caddy Lacquer one was the officially the end of my no-buy. And I know I only spent, like, three weeks, maybe, totally without nail polish. I'm a failure. <laughs> I'm not really. I don't care. Anyway, enjoy your day. Bye, guys.